When I was a kid and if I was asked to do something that was fairly easy, my normal response would be, hey, no sweat. As an adult, my children gave me a book on one of my birthdays that was Don't Sweat the Small Stuff, and it's all small stuff. It was a good read, but I know that not everything is small, and some things are just supposed to make you sweat. In our culture, uh, sweating is actually a kind of poor form. To some people, it's even gross. In fact, in our society, women don't sweat anymore. They glisten. The skin is the largest organ in the body. The normal person has two to four million sweat glands, and it's interesting to note women have more than men. Any number of things can cause you to sweat, from summer temperatures, physical exertion, um, from stress, emotional stress, fevers, and even spicy foods. Have you eaten a jalapeno recently? But chances are, if you don't exercise, you probably aren't sweating much. And that's a shame because sweating has so many advantages. Some of the benefits of having a, a free sweat on a regular basis are, it's a temperature regulator. It's the way that the body keeps itself from overheating. Without sweating, heat stroke and heat exhaustion can become real problems. It's important for weight loss. Just sweating burns about 300 calories per hour, and that's beyond the activity that you're actually participating in. Sweating unclogs the pores. It flushes the toxins and impurities faster than even the kidneys do. With as little as one hour of, of exercise and sweating per week, it can decrease your blood pressure, it can improve your mood because of the release of endorphins. You, you've probably heard of the runner's high. Sweating secretes an antibiotic called dermocidin that actually helps combat infection. Sweating boosts the immune system, it purifies the blood and lymphatic system, it fights illness, uh, most bacteria can only live in a very narrow uh, temperature spectrum. And so the body, when it senses those, increases its temperature to make a fever. It burns the bacteria out and then comes back down to a normal temperature. By making the body sweat on a daily basis through exercise, we can make an artificial temporary fever that will burn out the bacteria before they have an opportunity to do much harm. So sweat really does a body good. So walk, pedal, run, exercise, sauna till it flows. So sweat, perspire, in fact, glisten for your health.